In our back to school coverage, we're learning more districts are getting rid of lockers, making them a thing of the past. I'm okay with that. Yeah. It was always a rush, get the lock open, get to class. Right. My daughter hasn't been using hers in two, now going on three years in high school. All right. Fox 23's Tanya Motorzitski joins us live in studio. Tanya, Owasso 7th grade center principal tells you they just don't have a use for them anymore. I feel like I'm old now. I loved my... <laughs> I loved my locker, but more and more districts are making the move to get rid of lockers who they've remained va or they've remained vacant since COVID. I know at my son's school, Union 6, 7 grade center, I don't think he's ever touched a locker in two years. So he called me a boomer for knowing what a locker was. Many things changed because of COVID, including how schools operate. We don't really hand out books anymore. Uh, all kids have a Chromebook. With a lighter load, many schools like Owasso 7th grade center say lockers are an end of an era. Principal Eric Nantois says they haven't used lockers since before COVID. And we noticed pretty quickly that once we got rid of the lockers, there's less congestion, uh, less tardies, uh, less issues in the hallways. Uh, we were starting to find anyways, kids weren't really using them near as much. Uh, we would find a lot of weird things in them, like two-month-old milk. Uh, so some problems were occurring, and, and we discovered there was no negative to not having them. As students enter the school year with lockers being a nostalgic memory now, he says there's too many students for lockers. Now this year, we've bubbled up to 802 currently, uh, so we may not have even had enough this year, so that, that definitely could have become an issue. With lockers becoming extinct, I wanted to go around the newsroom to see who remembers how to open up one of these bad boys, a locker lock. This is cheap lock, and I think that's <laughs> broken. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a complete fail for some. Some got it on the first try. All right. You made it look easy. Look at the face of our news director. Oh He's, like, She's hmm. like, got yeah. it. Well, yes. Uh, Shay. Yeah, so it's you want to put me to the test, but and there's just no it. pressure on live TV. I've already gotten it. Right. I did it the first try, too, but Shay okay, has 15, to do it. Okay, 15, and I know you have to go around that number yeah. at least Yeah, if you need to talk once. it out, work it oh. out. Oh, 25. Oh, I hope it didn't go. I lockers. hope it didn't go twice. Oh, I think you uh -oh. did, Shay. Did I? Ah, uh, so I won't be the first try. But you know, because She's Sarah Whaley is the most competitive person I know, I've I got to at least her. get it on the second try. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, I'm getting it right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, fun fact, Owasso doesn't even use lockers in, like, the gym area either. Wow. So, yeah. right. fun fact. But they will offer lockers for those who may need it for, you know, emergencies right. or special accommodations. But fun fact, I used to love decorating my yes. lockers. Mm -hmm. Never we spent time it. at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, All gosh. Right. All Thanks, right. Tanya. Thanks. All right. And for the record, Sarah, in one try, Shay, too. I'll take the, okay. I'll take the L. You get the dub this time. <laughs>